This tiny thing here is the WD Black NVMe SSD. It is an impressively priced and performant M.2 SSD, and the model I have is a one terabyte, which again is pretty impressive, although it does come in a variety of sizes from as said one terabyte to 500 gig to 250, so you can find one that is best for you. Now the main competitor to this drive is likely the Samsung 970 Pro. That one is kind of the industry standard for kind of the best NVMe SSDs you can get, uh, and it also has the price tag to prove it. This one terabyte model compared to the 970 Pro one terabyte is a good bit cheaper, but has the same or very similar performance to it and some pretty similar reliability in terms of a five year warranty. And this drive, the one terabyte has 600 terabytes written of endurance. So all pretty impressive. In terms of performance, the, the box claims that it does 3.4 gigabytes per second reads and I actually can verify that. In fact, it actually did 3.5 gigabytes per second reads in a TTO on some of the larger chunk sizes. Now, I will leave the, the results up here so you can check out all of the different you know, QDAPs and uh, sizes and stuff, but uh, the, the main headlines are 3.4 to 3.5 gigabytes per second reads and up to 2.8 gigabytes per second writes, which again is incredibly impressive. Now, of course, these kind of performance numbers do vary depending on which size of drive you get. So the smaller uh, 250 gig, I think, does uh, still 3.4 gig reads, but only 1.6 gig writes. So obviously with this one, one terabyte, you're going to get a bit of a faster experience. But uh, the other thing I would mention is actually my quote real world test, which is uh, having all of the GTA 5 game files on the drive and then having it duplicate the files from the drive to the drive. Uh, so essentially you're hitting reads and writes at the same time and really kind of stressing the controller. Uh, so in my testing with this one, this is the fastest drive I've had to do this test with. It's sustained over one gigabyte per second, which means that this is an incredibly impressive and incredibly fast drive. Now I did have an M.2 heatsink on this while I was using it. That came on the Gigabyte B450 Board that I was using. Um, I was also using a 2600X just for reference, but uh, nonetheless, uh, the drive itself with the heat sink was running about 60 degrees under the stress testing load, which is actually pretty impressive and also some of the lowest temperatures I've seen while under load. Uh, with the heat sink off, you're looking a good bit higher, but it still didn't throttle at any point, which is pretty impressive. Of course, one of the main kind of selling points for the drive, as I mentioned, is the price. It is a good bit cheaper at least at the time of filming from the 970 Pro, especially this one terabyte model, it makes it a pretty decent value for money. Of course, this is the black lineup, so this is their kind of high performance line. So if you're looking for something, you know, if this is a bit too rich for your blood, then you can check out the WD Blue lineup, which is again, the sort of more value line, if you like, still decently performant, but again, um, a little bit more value. I would also mention if you're looking for the best M.2 NVMe SSD value, the ADATA SSD, X8200 is where I'd currently recommend. But with that said though, if you're looking for a high performance, especially something like this high capacity drive, then this is a fantastic option. It definitely rivals the 970 Pro in my book. And overall, I'd be very happy to recommend it. Would I be putting this in my rig? I'd be very much happy to. Yeah, this is something that I would highly recommend to anyone, especially again, looking for that sort of higher performance and a higher speed drives. But um, again, as I said, just really pretty impressive. Of course, that is my thoughts. I would love to hear yours in the comments down below. Is this too expensive for you? Is this, you know, kind of your next NVMe drive or are you somewhere in between? You're looking for a bit better value or anything else? Let me know in the comments down below. And also if, if you have any questions about the drive, leave them down there. Too. If you want to buy one of these or if you just want to check out pricing for the different sizes or anything else when and where you watch this, take a look at the top link in the description down below. That'll take you to your local Amazon store. You can also check out the other links in the description if you want to support the channel. You can check out the uh, merch link where you can pick up one of these t-shirts or hoodies or anything else. You can also take a look at the Patreon link where you can support directly and also get one of these t-shirts if you're in one of the higher reward levels. Uh, and otherwise, you can check out the Amazon and Overclock UK affiliate links, which also massively help me out and don't cost you anything. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button for more videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And otherwise, there are plenty of other videos over here for you to check out. As I said, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below, and otherwise, we'll see you all in the next video.